Okay, guys, this is um, chapter 5, question 7 of College Physics by Night, and that's second edition. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and read the question, and you better see it from your textbooks. The question is the two angle rules used to support the crate in figure P5.7 can withstand a maximum tension of um, 1500 Newton. Um, before the break, what is the largest mass um, that the ropes can support? Here I will also draw drop the figure. Um, this is the figure that is given in your textbook. Okay, um, this is the figure. If you can just see it. Um, That's the figure that you're supposed to see. Okay, let's just come over on the paper. Um, okay, so that's the figure, the same figure I draw, I drew on the paper. And the name is figure P5.7. Um, okay, so and they are asked us to find the largest mass and they have given us the tension and the two angles. So first of all, let's draw a free fall diagram right away. Um, so the free fall diagram for this will be has there are has according to the question there are two ropes which are attached to different angles from the uh, from the crate um, and there is a mass which is attached to it. If I can see it from the question. The mass is not moving, it is static. If the mass is static, the velocity is constant. If the velocity is constant, the acceleration is zero. If the acceleration is zero, the net force will be zero. If the net force is zero, then right away I know that there are just two forces which are acting in the x and y direction. The first will be tension and the other will be weight. Okay, so tension and the weight. Um, the direction of the tension force is always in the direction of the motion. Since the crate is pulling the mass upward, the tension will be upward. The direction of the weight should always be down because gravity pulls everything towards itself. So the direction of the W, the direction of the weight force, will be negative y direction. Okay, so let's just figure it out. Let's just draw our angles. One is 30 degrees, the other is 45, and then there are also be components. This will be your T1x, this will be your T2x, um, uh, and then actually I drew the angles wrongly. Um, I can do it again up here as the book shows you like this way. Okay, so that is your 30. Um, that is your 30 degrees. That is your 45 degrees. That is your, your mass. Which you have to find out. That will be your T1x. That will be your T2x. This will be your T1y, that will be your T2y. If you see that this is uh, the angle right away to the opposite, that will be your opposite. This will be your um, base. The shortest height will be your base. And the, and the line that is kind of like parallel, that will be your hypotenuse. Same as for this one. I'm not, um, just write down for you so that we can understand it. Okay, now we're all clear and set. Now let's work on our forces which are on x direction. I got only two forces on x direction. I got my negative t1x plus t2x is equals to zero. Since my acceleration is zero, my f since this is this is a zero because f is equals to ma 
and my acceleration is zero that's why the whole term will go to zero that's why I put over here zero negative t1x is equals to oh sorry positive t1x I just flip it on the other direction is equals to t2x okay let's sum up all the forces on the y direction t1y plus t2y they're all in the positive direction negative w since it's pulling downward if you just flip it w on the other side you definitely will get t1y plus t2y is equals to w okay now let's well, let's think about our angles um for my convenience i'm gonna shift it to the other page um, and you can just uh, pause the video for some seconds. So, Okay guys, so I just shifted the same um, two equations that we had on the last page on the new one. Um, okay, so all we need to do work is to find our angles. So let's find our angles on the x direction. Since I already told you that this is the shortest height will be adjacent, the longest height will be high will be opposite. Sorry, and the other side obviously will be hypotenuse. That's why if you if you want to find your Tx, that will be adjusting over hypotenuse that goes for cos theta. So T1 cos uh, and then T1 will be theta, uh, theta 1 will be 30 degrees. So we'll write 30 degrees in the other equation. So that's t, theta 2. T1 cos of 30 degrees. T2 cos of 45 degrees. Um, this is your first equation for your second equation if you want to plug in the angles if one is cos the other should be sine theta you put sine theta 1 plus t2 sine theta 2 is equals to w t1 sine 30 degrees plus t2 sine of 45 equals to w okay um, now it's really easy since you have to figure out just the whole largest mass. You can just solve one equation for T1 or your T2 and then just substitute it in the other equation. So if I solve my first equation for T1, um, I just flip flop the equations on the other side and I got this. After flip flopping, hope you get the same one. And now I substitute this equation 2. Okay, my equation 2 was this. Since this is the value for T1, I'm going to substitute it over here. And since this is W, I know that W is equals to mg. So in the other equation, I'll just put mg. Okay, now you're almost done. So T2 cos of 45, sine 30 and cos 30 will be equal. I do know that sine over cos is equals to tangent. And you can just apply this, this rule if your angles are similar. So my angles are similar, I can just apply tangent plus T2 sine of 45 and I'll put mg instead of w. So now I got T2, I can just take the common and I will left with these angles. Since I have to find my mass, I'll divide the whole equation by gravity. Your tension is given in the question 
there is no t1 or t2 so you'll just consider t1 is equals to t2 which is equals to 1500 and hopefully you got 170.7 kilogram that's your right answer in the book thanks for watching